The air fryer is promoted as an equipment that produces healthy food. Is this actually true? Every time that you cook and you pass the 120 degrees Celsius, the major reaction develops. The major reaction is the combination of reducing sugars like glucose and fructose with amino acids and that produces browning. For example, when we put potatoes in the air fryer, the air reaches 120 degrees Celsius, now the potato change color, have a golden color because of the major reaction. The reducing sugars react with amino acids and now we have browning. Those products are called acrylamides, the products with a golden color. Acrylamides are also produced when you fry, for example. You have chicken, you fry the chicken, the chicken gets a golden color due to the acrylamides. Or when you bake a cake in a regular oven, in a regular convection oven, the cake, the exterior of the cake, is going to have a golden color because of the acrylamides. So, any method that reaches 120 degrees Celsius is going to produce acrylamides. And acrylamides are highly carcinogenic. That is the reason why we don't recommend using these methods for daily use. However, if you use water, water boils at 100 degrees Celsius. So, it does not produce acrylamides because acrylamides are produced when you reach 120 degrees Celsius. The same when you use steam. A steam is also at 100 degrees Celsius. Therefore, no browning is produced. No acrylamides are produced. In conclusion, any method that is going to reach 120 degrees Celsius or more is going to produce acrylamides and therefore shouldn't be used daily. However, if you use water or steam to cook, those are the only two methods that never reach 120 because water boils 100 degrees Therefore, there is no acrylamides, and those metals are safe for daily use. If you have a consultation, you can book it on my website, joelexibio.com. See you next week.